Repeating maze. Here we go. We're on a left hand. This time it's not a punch. It's not even a grab. It's off a shove. It's going to look like a lot like reversing maze. Why? It has the same exact principles, just a smaller location. We're going to put a couple moves into it so you can see what's happening. You want to transfer your weight to use the other opponent's knowledge and weight against themselves. So when Sean comes up to shove me, I'm going to go ahead and let it go. It's like a revolving door. I'm not going to put my shoulder up and show how tough I am. I'm going to show how smart I am by applying the application of knowledge that we're getting through these tapes right here. As he comes in, I'm just going to step out with an outward parry. It's like brushing off his arm as I use the force of his own body to hammer fist to his kidney. I'm going to back, come back, strike the ribs. Holding onto his hand, I'm going to kick him to the back of the leg and throw him to the ground. Throw him to the ground, that's the finish. That's my finish. That's his new starting place. He wants to see if he wants to continue the action. If he does, I have a much better advantage point. That's why the takedowns. A lot of styles of martial arts have chokes. Well, we're limited to chokes all the time. Why? All of our statures are different in height. But by taking a person down, we have a common denominator. It doesn't matter how tall a person is, because starting from the ground, we have equal ground. We all start from the same place, from the bottom up. That's why the takedown is so important. Before the person can really fight, they got to get themselves back up. Let's show you the technique. As he comes in, he's going to shove to my left shoulder. I parry it out right here. I've already got a complimentary angle. As I'm twisting, I strike right to his kidney, come right through. Back knuckle to his ribs, buckle his leg. This is the finish. But now I want to put pressure on the shoulder, stepping back with my left foot, driving him right to the ground. I've got complete control now. The advantage is mine. The disadvantage is his. Let's look at it again. As Sean comes in with the shove, I have the rear twist. Comes in. Here it is, right here. I've already got control. As I lock the hand, twist out, strike to the kidney. Back knuckle the ribs, buckle the leg. That's the technique. I have a check right here. Stepping back, throwing him to the mat. This is controlled. There's nothing he can do. I've got the situation well in hand. Let's go. Coming again, in the sh again, the shove. The first thing he's going to say is going to be visual. His arm's going to go back, and he's going to bring it from a low position to a high position. Now I know what hands he's using. Bad mistake. Comes in, out, hammer fist to the kidney. That's an organ he's going to need. Breaking his ribs. I'm going to the respiratory system. Blowing out his knee. Oh, bad. Taking him down. Finishing the technique. Maybe for him, maybe not for me. Let's see it fast. This is control. By jerking his arm, I could tear his shoulder out of place. That's too bad. But he shoved me. I didn't shove him. That's repeating maze.